these are some of the old leaves that came out of one of the dioramas. So um, this is foreground work. Um, these, these leaves hang overhead and they're made with um, paper, crepe paper, and wax. They're dipped in wax. And then all this uh, veining on the back is all done by hand. That was all hand done. This was done in the 40s, um, 1940s. And as you can see over time, the weight of this thing has, has pulled, pulled the leaf down. We're just at the cusp of starting to do some 3D imaging with this, where, where the leaf could be 3D digitized, um, milled out, without the process of making a mold and um, doing the vacuum forming. Mike Anderson from uh, the Peabody Museum uh, found out about a project that I was working on here at the uh, Digital Media Center with one of the graphic designers, actually. Uh, his assistant, who was a graduate of undergraduate graphic design program, uh, saw on a picture that I posted on Instagram of a project where one of the graphic designers had uh, 2D printed with an inkjet printer on a piece of PETG plastic and then taken that plastic and vacuum formed it so that uh, basically they could map uh, a specific image onto a 3D form. One of the uh, things that we're playing around with uh, is 3D printing uh, in terms of being able to replicate uh, the leaf in a way to step uh, uh, further down in the process, take a step further into the process, uh, and, and create the leaf whole cloth. The 3D digitizing thing can uh, really reduce the amount of time and make a better product, something that's going to um, last longer. And I talked to the inkjet printer and he said, yeah, the inks are good for 100 years, they aren't going to fade. I mean, that's extraordinary. That's better than our paint. This is a, a, a resin-based print made with a Form 1 uh, printer from Form Labs, and the uh, nice thing about the Form 1 printer, the resin printers, is that uh, it allows you to make a very thin walled print uh, that is supported and is uh, created a layer at a time out of a bath of photoreactive resin. It's time saving, it's a better product, um, and I have great hope that, that you know, this kind of restoration work and keeping these dioramas um, you know, looking real pristine is going to be much easier. These are world-class dioramas. The, the um, artists that work on these are the best diorama painters that pretty much ever were. James Perry Wilson and Francis Lee Jaquies were our um, background painters, and you don't get better than that. There will be a combination of the 3D printing and the artist. Um, I'm, I'm pretty certain that that's going to continue, but a lot of this extra detail work is going to go by the wayside. It's very exciting.